Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, some scruff in Photoshop, like that. I mean, not like a full blown beard, just guy needs to shave a little. Alright, so we'll start off. The link to the picture will be uh, in the information box to the right of the video on YouTube. And I got it from Stock Exchange. Um, you can get some uh, really good free stock photos here. So just come on here. You have to make an account. I have one. It only takes a few seconds. So, and then just go to that picture. Uh, open it up. Copy it. Open Photoshop. File new. And it, make sure it's set to cl clipboard. And then Command V or Control V. Scale that up. And the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the background. Name this dude. Make a new layer. I'm going to name this new layer Scruff. Or whatever you want to call it, Beard. Alright, then what I'm going to do is come over here. Make sure my colors are set to black and white. It doesn't really matter, but it's always good to start with those. Come over to my brush tool and pick uh, the size 100. Once you have it loaded in here and you name that scruff, come up over here, grab your brush tool, and I'm just going to start with a soft one size 100 brush and just sort of roughly paint where the beard or the scruff would be. I don't want it to go all the way up there. But under the lip, bring some up over here. Then I'm coming to get the eraser using the bracket keys. I scale that up using a soft brush. Oh, it's a little too much. Sort of come in here and Smoothen it out a little bit, get rid of some of the stuff that's not on his face. I'm going to get this brush again and shrink the size of the bracket keys and sort of fill that in. And then what you're going to do is, on, I'm going to fill that in a little bit more, go to filter. Uh, noise, add noise, make sure it's set to that and monochromatic and I'd have it set to like 136 maybe, that looks good. Click OK. I can go to filter, blur, uh, radial blur, set it to zoom, um, quality to best and amount to let's go with three and click OK. You should get something like that. Now change this the scruff layer to multiply and then I'm gonna zoom in. Hopefully you don't have hair that curves up on your nose like that. No offense to anyone who does. And just sort of get rid of some of the edges. Come over here, hold shift. Click right here, drag down a little, and then let go of shift and sort of smooth that out. Come over here, do the same thing. Hold, oh, no, nope. Click 
shift, drag down. We get more of a, it's a little not on center, but that's all right. Then go to image, adjustments, curves. And you can, let's see. Bring that out a little bit and you could have adjustments again. And let's see. Get a hue and saturation and lighten it up a bit. And then grab the eraser and just adjust it to your liking. And there you have it. A simple way to uh, hit puberty before you already do. So you can look all sexy with some scruff on your MySpace picture if you want. Or you could just not do that. That would be a good idea. And just stay tuned for more tutorials. Then go to filter, blur, yeah. 